everyone welcome back i hope you're all doing really really well um so i thought i know it's not a really 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 big thing on youtube but i love doing character nail art i'm not brilliant at doing it on camera um just because i'm sat so far back and i don't want my head to be obstructing the view for you guys so it can be quite difficult to do character nail art while i'm recording um but i thought i would do a dalmatian dog but on three nails so the dalmatian is going to be on this nail and then the ears are going to be either side so what i've just done is i've outlined i've already painted the nail i just thought to save time that would be fine so i've outlined kind of like <clears throat> the body with two black lines going down the nail and then the neck the two black lines um for the neck and I'm just filling it all in with like this off off white kind of color um I actually ran out of white so I had to use off white and then I mixed a milky white in with it um I am terrible for using white I really really am terrible so that's kind of like the head and then the body um really simple so there's not much outlining to do on here because it's pretty much the full nail. Um, so what I'm doing... Oh, I did cure that as well, by the way. I cured that for... I actually cured it for two minutes because um, it was quite thick. And obviously you want to make sure it's fully cured. Otherwise it will bubble. Um, yeah, so... What I'm doing now is... This part of the lines is going to be his mouth. Um, and honestly, it is trusting at the process. Um, this liner brush isn't brilliant, but it is kind of my favourite at the same time because I use it so much, it's not like dense and hard. Um, yeah, so that part is the mouth. Um, don't worry if it ends up too, th the black lines end up too thick. And that bit, little bit there is his tongue and that's going to droop down onto his body. Um, yeah, these parts don't have to be perfect because when we... <clears throat> excuse me, coffin, when we fill in with all the colours and things like that, um, you can be more precise by going over any chunky black outlining that you accidentally made a little bit too thick. So don't stress too much about the outlining if it's not perfect. Um, you can go in with a pencil and outline first and then go over everything with a black gel. I find that um, more time consuming really so I don't do that um, I have tried it but I do find it more time consuming and I do struggle doing it with a pencil um, just because it's quite hard to see the pen the pencil on top of gel polish yeah so that obviously that's his nose as you could tell this is super super easy guys okay it's super easy um, once you finish once I finish it doesn't look like it would be extremely beginner friendly. Looks like a little bit more harder for beginners. But honestly, if you follow these steps, it's really not. Um, so this is the eyes. Whenever I do the left hand eye, I always have to turn the nail upside down. Um, because I'm right handed. Um, so can you see how I'm doing it upside down? So whenever I do that side of the face, I do have to turn it upside down. And I find that much easier. So the head... Um, that's all literally the outlining I'm doing is just around the head because that's going to be on the nail next when we do the nail next um, the other two nails which are going to be either side of the face is going to be the ears like really dro droopy kind of pokey uppy ears um, <clears throat> these little lines here this is just for a little collar that he had on just a little um a little doggy collar really um, and I do end up painting that red I did forget to do like a little tag on there um, and I didn't actually realize until doing the voiceover I was like oh yeah I remember now I did forget to do his collar all of that I cured for one minute um, this black gel polish is so pigmented I do like to cure it for one minute because sometimes it does go a little bit bubbly if I don't cure it fully because it's super super pigmented so I've just mixed um brown, like, like a dark brown and I just put a little bit of white in there just to lighten it up 
for his mouth. Um, you don't have to do that though. You can use black if you want to, or like a dark red for, for the mouth. Um, but the picture I was going for was brown. So I just done that because I have done this set before. Um, but this was going back probably like seven months ago. Um, so what I've got now is I'm just adding a tiny bit of like shading to his nose, like a tiny little bit of lightness on not all over his nose, but just on like the triangle center of the nose. Um, you can see it like in real life, but on camera it didn't show up. So I, for you guys, I wanted to add a little bit more so you could see what I was doing and what I meant by that. And I only use a tiny little bit and then I drag that down so slightly um, so it kind of blends in naturally. So I just added a tiny little bit of shading. You can do more shading everywhere um, if you wanted to. But shading, I wouldn't say is for beginners. It can be quite difficult to do shading. So i would only done it on the nose. So the tongue, I'm doing pink, obviously. You know, a tongue is well, reddish pinky colour. So I do do that in pink. And again, please don't worry about the black lines. If you go over, it doesn't matter because we're gonna go back in and re-outline everything anyway. Um, now on this eye, I did, I meant to do that black that I'm outlining now in grey, um, just on one eye to make it look like he had like one eye, black, like black and grey kind of thing, like spotty. And the other eye was normal. Um, and I used black. Um, completely forgot. But that's absolutely fine. You can still do it like that. I do go back in later on. Um, the eyes I am doing um, in a really, really light brown. Just filling all those in. And this is just a extremely light brown. It's not very dark or anything like that. But it's tr trust in the process. That's all it is. I have sped this up very slightly, it didn't speed up too much, and for this nail and the other two nails, which were his ears, I think it took me 25 minutes, <clears throat> so it didn't take really, really long, um, I think if you, it can, for me, if I was really concentrating, it would have, I could have, it probably would have took me about 40 minutes, um, but for the video, I didn't want it to be really, really, really long, um, yeah, so as you can see, I've outlined his tongue that's dangling out of his big mouth. And I'm just outlining everything else. Just going around everything to make it pop, you know, to make it stand out. Usually with like eyes and the mouth, you kind of want the outlining to be quite thin. You don't want it to be extremely chunky. So I try not to press down too hard with my liner brush. So I'm just adding a few little details along kind of like his neckline um, just to add that little bit of a touch to the to the head kind of thing. So as you can see now, I'm going in with grey. Um, this is, I think it's the same grey that's in the background of the nail. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same grey anyway. And then this one, I'm actually going in with blue. So the neck I do end up going over that grey because I meant to use blue and I used grey. It was because they were right next to each other. I dipped in the wrong one. Um, I'm curing in between um, every time. So make sure you cure. And if you're happy with what you have done, just make sure you cure. Um, so then if you do make a mistake, you can wipe it off without wiping the whole nail off. If that makes sense. Um, just his little pupils. He doesn't have huge ones, just his little pupils. Um, and this is where I'm just very, very, very thin outline of his eye. Um, just going over that brown that I did, just like that, very slightly. You can add as many details as you want as well. It doesn't have to be exactly like this. You can add as many details if you want. I do like the black to be quite thick because it makes it pop even more, but that is just a personal preference for me. So on that black eye that I've just done there, I've just added some very thin, tiny lines of grey um, just to make it look like there's a few little shadows and things like that. 
So there is that one. I have top coated. So you do see them all at the end. Um, so what I'm doing now is I am measuring up where roughly where the ear should go. Just like that. Just hold the nail next to it. I'm not brilliant at doing, I haven't done like dog ears or anything like that for about seven months. Literally for about seven months. So I'm not brilliant at doing dog ears. I think this is only the second set that I've ever done. Um, doing like dog ears. So they're not perfect, but you kind of get the gist. Um, so that little line that I just done from the ear to the side of the nail, that's basically going to be his the rest of his face, if that makes sense. Um, like the side at the bottom of his ear, which I colour in pink to make it stand out. Um, so I'm just filling in the ear with that off-whitey kind of colour. Um, again, don't worry if you go over the black lines, it's absolutely fine. Um, the other nail I do exactly the same, but I do it off camera because you can see what I'm doing on here. Um, it's really simple, so I just do it off camera to save time. So now this is where I do go back around the ear with some black and just outlining it. And I am holding the brush very gently. I'm not pushing down on the brush because it the harder you push down, the thicker the gel polish will go on. So I'm just doing some little dots on his ears and there you go. You have yourself a little Dalmatian dog. Really, really simple um, for beginners. It really, really is. It looks like it isn't, but I promise you it's really simple. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you.